Welcome to 13 Cubed. In this episode, we're going to talk about process hollowing. Now, if you aren't sure what process hollowing is, or even if you've never heard of it, don't worry because I'm going to give you a high level overview in just a moment. But you should also check out Investigating Windows Memory, one of the many 13 Cubed training courses available at training.13cubed.com. In fact, the demo portion of this episode is actually a small excerpt from the process hollowing lesson within that course. All 13 Cubed courses are professionally produced, include hands-on practice, and let you follow along with everything being demonstrated. Plus, each course comes with a certification and digital badge attempt at no extra cost. Be sure to check them out today at training.13cubed.com. Okay, back to the episode. Process hollowing is a type of code injection that usually begins by creating a legitimate process in a suspended state. The attacker then removes the original code from the process, that's the hollowing part, and replaces it with malicious code. Once the process is updated to run this new malicious code, execution is then resumed. So by taking on the name, path, and other properties from the original process, this technique helps attackers hide malicious activity and evade detection. There's now a new, or new-ish, process hollowing plugin for Volatility 3. As a bit of history, HollowFind, which won the annual Volatility Plugin Contest back in 2016, was an amazing Volatility 2 plugin for detecting hollowed processes. But until recently, there was no solution for Volatility 3. But now there is. Volatility 3 actually ships with a built-in plugin that offers some process hollowing detection capabilities. However, it's not a one-for-one -one replacement for HollowFind, as you'll see shortly. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for a link to the memory samples used in this demo. That way you can follow along and you can use the samples for practice as well. So let's get started. The plugin is called windows.hollow processes. Let's run Python 3 vol.py and we'll type windows.hollow processes and we'll use a dash H at the end so that we can see the available options. And notice that besides dash H or dash dash help, which we're looking at now, there really is only a single option available as of the time of this recording. And that would be dash dash PID. This allows you to specify a PID on which you want the plugin to operate. Otherwise, all processes are in scope. For our use case, all we're going to do is run the plugin without any options, and it's as simple as that. Let's go ahead and right click to copy the plugin name to the clipboard so we don't have to type it out. Now let's talk about our memory images. I have two samples for you, hollow1.dmp and hollow2.dmp. The difference between these two is the way in which process hollowing has been performed. Both images contain evidence of successful process hollowing. In my testing, only hollow1.dmp is detected by windows.hollow processes. Now, by the time you're watching this, that may change because future updates to Volatility 3 may update the windows.hollow processes plugin. So for science, I'm including both for you to be able to download. That way you can experiment. So let's go ahead and run the plugin. We'll type python3 vol.py dash f and we'll point to mount c users my user desktop hollow1.dmp and then we'll right click to paste in the plugin name. And that's all there is to it. So let's give this a moment to run and we'll come back when it's done and take a look at the results. Okay, as you can see, we have two detections for PID 11712 belonging to lsas.exe. And I can tell you that this is a true positive. So this is a copy of the legitimate lsas.exe on which process hollowing was performed. And this is exactly right. Notice that it says unexpected protection page underscore execute underscore read write. This is similar to the way windows.malfind performs detections in that it's looking for areas of memory marked as page execute rewrite that are not backed by a file on disk. This may be why the detection is successful for this memory image because the tool being used to perform the process hollowing within this memory image did indeed mark areas of memory as page execute rewrite that weren't backed by a file on disk. So again, maybe that's why the detection is successful in this case. Now let's go ahead and repeat the exact same thing, but we'll change hollow1.dmp to hollow2.dmp. So once again, let's give this a moment to run and come back when it's done to take a look at the results. 
And notice here we have a single result for PID 2492 belonging to solitaire.exe. This is a false positive. I can tell you that within hollow2.dmp, solitaire.exe was not the subject of any kind of process hollowing or code injection at all. It wasn't touched. So this, again, is not a correct detection. The key takeaway here is that the windows.hollow processes plugin is imperfect, like everything else. So while it can help you detect process hollowing in some circumstances, it's not necessarily going to be able to detect all forms of process hollowing. If you want to further experiment, again, I would invite you to download that zip file containing both of these samples and do share anything you learn in the comments below. But otherwise, that wraps up our look at process hollowing. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next 13 Cubed episode.